Okay, to save the state of an ME, we want to use the DMEM. Now, to save a DMEM, what we want to do is select DMEMs on the touchscreen. Um, you can see the various areas we're, we're going to record here. So this is in just DMEM, so DMEM and DMEM down here. Um, you can see all the areas we're, we're going to record. We'll have a quick look at that. You see the ones we've already got made so far. Um, if we look at the keypad area over here, we're going to save a DMEM. Um, let's go for 20. So first of all, I'm just going to add two keys to my output. Um, maybe I'll just resize the second one, put that live bug over there. So I've just got two boxes, one, two, put them back on. Okay, so this is going to be DMEM 20, I'll just select DMEM again. So I'm going to go 20, and then I'm going to select ME2, ME2. Now you'll see there's a, it says project zero at the top. My current project is project zero, and all I'm going to do is save, save. If you look at the touch screen, you'll see DMM20 has just saved. I can go in and give it a name. I'll just go um, two box or two box. There's my name. So that DMM is now saved. If I take my keys off and I want to load it up, I just go 20 dot, and you'll see it says project zero, DMEM 20. I've got an option to either save it again or load. So I want to load it. If we look at the output, I'll put something else up. Um, let's put up him. I'll load it, and you can see my two box, my two keys have come up. Okay? The next level of a DMEM would be I want to cross point hold. And what I mean by that is I want to call up the DMEM but I don't want to change my A or B bank, the source that's on air. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and on this menu, so DMEM and DMEM here, DMEM 20, we're going to turn this off, background and trans off. And maybe for the sake of it, let's turn off um, key two as well. So key two is our live bug that appears there. So I'm going to now go and save that, and I'm going to save it over in 20. So I'm going to go 20 ME2. So it's still coming up as project zero, which refers to my current project, which appears on my touchscreen. DMEM20, and I've got the options of ME1, ME2, sub ME1, or sub ME2. And I'm just going to go save. So now I'm going to overwrite it. File exists, overwrite, and I go save again. Saved, OK. All right? So now I'm going to change. Actually, I'm going to um, yeah, I'm going to change this to a different background. Say, say something like that, and then I'm going to leave my two keys on, and I'm going to recall it and see what happens. Load. So it's keeping the background the same. If I turn off my two keys, let's load it up again as well. So I go 20, me two, load. It's just bringing in the one key because we've only left key one on. Just to add on DMEMs, I can save my DMEM for one ME, um, and I just saved it to DMEM 20. I can recall that DMEM on any ME, so you're not restricted. So my DMEM 20, I just saved there. I could record it into, recall it into ME 2 or ME 1. Doesn't matter, it'll recall it. GMEMs. Um, GMEM is a global memory, so it's the way you save the full state of the mixer. Um, your two MEs, and if you want, you've got the option to add your stills in. Um, a still, realistically, say if it's two seconds, <coughs> it'll take, um, let's say, three seconds to load. So you can save a hard GMEM, which will include your stills, or a soft one, which doesn't. Um, if you just want to save the mixer setup, go for a soft one first. If you want to save a setup to load at the beginning of the day, including your stills, go for a hard one. We'll do both. Um, so let's have a little look. Uh, we are currently in project zero. We've a couple of GMEMs already saved. But we're going to try and do all this on the keypad. So I'm going to go zero, which is my project dot. Um, let's save it to 33. Um, and we'll select the area. So I want to go ME1, ME2, sub1, sub2. And I want to go save. Now it's coming up with an option here, one or two. Um, one refers to soft. and Two refers to hard. Um, it says I'm going to go for hard, which is two. Now, here, important one, this menu button, you need to select it. Um, it'll come up with this page here. 
and you'll see my soft or my hard GMEMs here. What I want to do is maybe save my first four stills as well. Okay, so we'll put stills one and two on our program. Um, and all I'm going to do is hit save. So if I go save and let's hit the save button again, and that's it saving. You see saved, okay. Fine, okay, let's just change the state of the ME, add a few keys, um, actually we'll change our stills. So let's load that into store one, let's load that into store two, um, and I'll just put stores, you can see the, the mixer is a bit of a mess at the moment as far as the output, but let's, let's go in and reload store uh, GMEM 33, which will include our stores one to four. So we're gonna go zero dot, um, let's go back to GMEM, three, three, and all we've got is the option to load. We go load, and it's loaded everything. It's changed our still store output. Just look at the two, two stores there, our contents. It's changed all that as well. So now I'm gonna do another one, um, which we'll call soft. So let's go zero dot, 38 maybe, and we'll go for all the other MEs, and we'll go save, hard or soft. We'll go for one this time, and we'll save it as a soft, okay? So the one I'm gonna recall is I'm gonna take these keys off, I'm gonna change my output, and I'm gonna recall 38. So I'm gonna go 0.38, so it says project zero here, GMEM38, and I've got the option to load it. So we just watched the state of the mixer as I load it. It's loaded everything up. Um, GMEMs to me are the easiest and best way to save everything on the switcher in every area on the MEs. Okay, let's look at snapshots. Um, snapshot is a very instant way of recording your ME setup. First of all, macro light on, press the button here. All I do is maybe add a few keys, um, those two keys there, um, and I just hold down the button. Macro 484, okay? Let's just show you. I'll just add some keys here, and I'll go to this one, hold this one down, 486. So if I take all my keys off and select this button, you'll see it's called up my snapshot. If I select this button, it's called up this snapshot, okay? How do I overwrite those? One good thing to put on um, is panel config preferences. So panel config preferences is your first choice. And what I like to do is if I come over here, I turn overwrite to on, okay? Make sure it's on, because then what I can do is I can go in and I say, well, actually, I didn't like that snapshot. I'm gonna add all three keys, and I'm gonna change my background, and I'm going to hold that down. It'll lighten up and that's it saved. So if I take those keys off, call that up three keys. So I've just been able to overwrite it. Okay, the next thing I want to do or to show you is how do I take the snapshot off the mixer? How do I detach it? So panel config, user functions, detail, and then I select the button and it says clear macro or snapshot. I'm just gonna select that and it's been taken away. And I'll do this for this one. So. I'll go um, this button and then it says clear. Or, so I select that and it's taken it away. So just to recap, um, my GMEMS is a global memory, saves the whole mixer. My DMEMS is a memory to save my MEs, which I can recall into any ME. Um, and an instant way to save a setup on an ME is to use snapshots.